Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello guys, how are you? I am great. Okay, that's good, excellent. Sorry, sorry to be a little late, but there were a lot of questions in the other class. Okay, okay. But, don't worry. But don't worry, we have, tenemos hasta el amanecer con ustedes, así que no hay problema. Right? <laughs> so we can, we can replace five minutes, no problem. Okay, how was the day? Good? Not too much. Good teacher. Hello, Silvia. Okay. Hello. Not too much work today? No? Oh, yes. No. Okay, good. All right. Let me see. We're going to have the platform. Okay, no. Okay, here. Okay, so here we have some WH questions. Remember the video that we were watching yesterday? Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? Ask and answer WH questions. Okay, not all be the part of the please. Let's get started by and practice the conversation title. Have a good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the example that you see in this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this one. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what. Next we have the word to be R. Then we have the subject. After that we add going to then we have the do. And finally, we put the complement 
and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is at. Next, we have the word R. Then we have the subject U. After that, we need to add the to. Then we have the verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end. Okay. Now it's your turn practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about upcoming holidays in your country. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, very good. Now remember the questions with going to, right? What are you going to do tomorrow after class? Okay, that could be one. Then uh, you can post here questions using the WH words. Now, uh, do you have any doubts, alguna duda, preguntas about this? Algo que le gustaría que repitiéramos. Just let me. Two for Valentine's. Yeah. Thanks. You too. In this one, where you have the, the conversation, right? You can see, for example, just no question, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Okay, are you going to do anything special tomorrow? Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, here we have uh, Rocio, right? Rocio Flores, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's I mean, for tomorrow? Your first. No. Uh huh? No, I, I know. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm not. Very good. Okay, uh, Marvin, are you going to do anything special for tomorrow, Friday? End of the week, payday? No, I am not. No, I am not. Okay, good. Uh, Abby, are you going to do anything special for tomorrow? You're going to have a... Uh, no, I know. No, I'm not. Okay, good. And then you say, for example, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Look at her yeah, here, for example, they are using an informal way. They say, yeah, right? Are you going to do anything special for that? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Okay? And in this case, when it's something personal, are you going to do something special for tomorrow, anything special for tomorrow? Then you say, yes, I am. Okay, or no, I'm not. Where are you going to go? Location, place, location. Uh, she's going to, how, and let's say, what are you going to do? The activities, the action. And then here, I'm going to dance, well, have a good, and that's it. Now, Uh, here, let me see. Dinora, could you please read the instructions here? Perdón. Yes. Uh, can, can you read this instruction? Okay, it's a complete a conversation with the correct form of be, be going to follow the example. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, here. Uh, the question, the example. Here, uh, let me see, Roger, can you please read the, the example? This comment. Uh, okay. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? Mm -hmm. My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Okay, good. What is the meaning of the spend? What is a spend? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Can you put it? 
¿Qué significa span? What's the meaning? Span. What? Emplear tiempo. Las dos. Ok. Gastar. Ok. Gastar dinero. Right. Span. Gastar dinero. I spend my money. O. Eh, pero gastarlo porque tengo que gastarlo. No malgastarlo. Eh, ese es uh, spend. Cuando uno va al super, spend. Se gasta dinero. Eh, y pasar el tiempo. Right. En este caso es para el tiempo. How are you going to spend your vacation? ¿Cómo vas a pasar las vacaciones? ¿Ok? So, tiene, depende del contexto, tiene los dos significados. Good. Now, now let's see here. My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Now, who are you? How can we complete this sentence? Who are you going to in, invite? Uh -huh, to... to Then Thanksgiving okay. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Okay. The next one. Um, I am going to ask my family and some good friends. Okay. I already, como ya lo hice, ya lo tengo acá. I'm going to ask. Okay, good. Okay. This one. What are you? What are you going to do for Halloween? What are you going to do? Okay, for Halloween. Good. What about this one? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I am not going to do anything special. Perfect. 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 I'm not going to do. Okay. Good. Number three. Okay. Let me see. How are your parents? Uh, How are your parents going to celebrate New Year's Eve? Okay, going to celebrate. Good. Next one. Um, they're going to go to their neighbor's party. They're going to go to their neighbor's party. Going to go. Okay. Next one. Um, what is your sister? What is, your, uh, what is your sister going to do for her birthday? For her birthday. And the last but not least. Um, her boyfriend going to take her out to dinner. Her boyfriend? Going to take. Okay. Yeah. Going to or is going to? No, going to take. Mm -hmm. It so, is. Okay, let me see. It's of me. It's. Sí, okay. Okay. Eh, me di cuenta en otro, en la, en la clase anterior, porque es el mismo nivel, que going to uh, les marcó bien y solo pusieron going to en algunos casos y le salió buena, ¿verdad? Uh, aquí está yes. y es, ajá, y si pongo key show answers vean, aquí aparece is going to pero también aparece going to take pero aquí creo yo que en la programación uh -huh. cuando programaron debe haber habido un pequeño error porque siempre tenemos que usar el is ok Entonces, ahí se los tomó okay. bueno pero este Siempre debemos usar is going to, porque debemos usar always el the verb to be. Okay, the question is her boyfriend. Okay, here, what is your sister what is your sister going to do for her birthday? Her boyfriend is okay, going to take her out to dinner. Entonces, pero digamos, ese es para que lo tengamos así claro de que la forma correcta es esta. Okay. 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 Good. Thank you very much for your help. Teacher, yes. Uh, who's speaking? Who's speaking? Uh, Rocío. Okay, Rocío, tell me. Um, eh, donde daba la respuesta de negación, esa va a ir antes del gonna. Eh, sí. ¿Dónde está la mesa? ¿Dónde estaba? Sí, sí, sí. Esa de arriba. Okay, here. Yes. Va siempre como, como que estuviéramos usando I am not 
a doctor, I am not a teacher. Entonces, sí, va a ir antes del con tú, la negativa. Ok. So form always, always. Ok. Eh, no, vimos la afirmativa, eh, no les puse ahí algunos ejemplos de eso, no, no, ¿verdad? Pero podemos, eh, no, hacer, pero podemos hacer un ejercicio rápido que nos ayude a todos a aclarar esto. Let me see here. Not, not a problem. Ok, good. For example, we can say, uh, when I use, I am going, I am going to fly to New York. Okay, uh, next week. Ya quisiera. All right, it's only an example. Okay, then this is affirmative. Okay, what is the negative sentence? I am not going to fly to New York next week. Okay, I am not going to fly to New York next week. Okay, very good. Uh, what about the interrogative form? Just no question. Am and I am I going to fly to next week? Am I going to fly to New York or, next week? Uh -huh, next question mark. Next week, uh -huh, question mark. Correct. No space. Okay. The answer, the short answer for this, yes, I am. Negative, no, 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 I am not. No, I am not. Okay, there you go. These are affirmative, negative, and yes, no question, okay? And if we want to use a third person, we can say is Rocio. Is Rocio going to fly to New York next week? The answer, Rocio. No, I'm not. Okay, then we say no. She. No, she is not. There you go. Okay. You see, this is the structure, right? I am going. I am not going. Am I going? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is for you going to fly uh, to New York next week? No, she's not. Yes, she is. Uh, she is not going to fly, or she is. Okay? So then these are the exercises that you're gonna use all the time when we use going to, then you can use these examples, right? Affirmative, negative, and that's it. Okay. Now, a uh, let me see who now we can ask probably Ricardo Vega. Would you please read this uh, objective here? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for this this person. Mm -hmm. How to celebrate a special occasion? How to celebrate special occasions? Okay. okay. Here we go. Now, in this video, I want you to pay attention to that. This is most, mostly for pronunciation, okay? Listen to the phrases or the words to speak about a special occasion. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. 
Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs. Dance. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. And cards. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay, but here, this is the emphasis that I'd like to make. Isn't it right? We have, for example, Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, okay, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. Uh, then we also have, for example, send cards, give presents, take pictures, uh, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, and eat special food. For example, in which of these occasions, we have one, two, three, four, five, do we send cards? Do we send cards for Mother's Day? Yes. 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 Not everybody, but some people, some people yes, other people no. Okay, uh, Father's Day? No. No. Oh, probably if we are, if we are in a, in another country maybe, right, a long distance, Okay, maybe in that situation is is possible, right? Okay, a uh, graduation. Yes. For graduation. Yes. Yes. Right? For wedding. Yes. Also, right? Also, yes. and also. for anniversary, we send a card. Okay, and uh, when do we give presents? Uh, the Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Father's Day, Father's Father's Day. Day. Graduation. graduation, wedding, yeah. wedding. wedding. Uh, and anniversary. anniversary. Take pictures. Uh, graduation, graduation. Wedding. 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 wedding, anniversary, anniversary. Right? Yeah, the Father's and Mother's Day is is a no, is is a different. Okay, but graduation, yes, right. Yes. Always taking pictures. Sing songs. Wedding. Uh, wedding, yes. Mother's Day. Mother's Day, yes. Father's Day. And sometimes for the Father's Day, right? You know, mi viejo, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the common one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the one that we usually sing. Okay, and then? Wedding. Uh, wedding. Graduation. Wedding, graduation. Graduation. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, most. Sometimes right. anniversary. Sometimes anniversary, right? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, eat cake. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Day. Father. All. Wedding. Yes, yeah, so all of them, right? Graduation, <laughs> wedding, anniversary. Have a party? Wedding. Graduation. Graduation. Wedding, graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. An anniversary, correct. Uh, have a picnic. Well, here Mother's Day. Mother's Day, right? Here in El Salvador, it's not very common, right? To anniversary. I have to have a picnic. But sometimes if you go to the beach, maybe you take your own food. But 
it's not it's not something that we do. It's mostly in in Europe or in the United States, right? Uh, eat a special food. Always a special so, occasion. Uh -huh. For example, Mother's Day, we, we eat a special food. Okay. Father's Day, yes. Father's Day. Graduation. Graduation. Wedding. Yes. Wedding. For yes. And for the anniversary. For all of them. Anniversary. We, we love food. You know, Salvadoran people love food. Okay, good. Father's Day. And then we have here. Holidays. Graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now remember to complete here, for example, some of the of the sentences, right? The affirmative or negative sentences, what you are going to do, okay? Don't forget to work on this platform. And here we have, by the end of this class, we will develop this one, okay? One more before we go to the groups. By the end of this class, we will develop the skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about a birthday celebration in different countries. Okay. I don't know if you will be able to see it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What is scanning and reading for details? What is a scanning? Estas son unas do, aquí hay dos estrategias de lectura. Una es scanning y la otra es reading detail. ¿Quién conoce esas dos? By reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. Anybody? Scanning es y lo ocupamos, lo ocupamos bastante. What's your strategy when you do a test? ¿Qué estrategia utilizan para hacer un examen? Para contestar. Un papel. Ajá, pero cuando when you have the test, what do you do? Artículo. Ajá, por ejemplo, a veces yo le doy una lectura y hay 10 preguntas. ¿Cómo hace para contestar? ¿Cuál es su estrategia? Formulario. Analiz, analizar, como analizar en español, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero su estrategia, ¿cuál es? Read. Leer primero lo que, yeah. eh, lo que nos han dado para poder contestar. Wow, uh -huh. se hace. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién tiene una diferencia? Lectura comprensiva. Esa es otra. Ajá. ¿Quién más tiene otra? Como cuestionario. Ajá, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué hace con el cuestionario? Se contestan las que se conocen más. Exacto, ahí está uno, ¿ok? Esa es una. Entonces, ¿qué se hace ahí? Se busca, scan. Entonces, es buscar las, unas preguntas o unos, unas pistas específicas. Que muchas veces uno lee la pregunta y por a veces porque el examen es de tiempo, no le va a dar tiempo de leerlo todo, ¿ok? And then you, you come and then read the question, se lee la pregunta y se busca la posible respuesta. Okay, esa es una de las maneras de, de, ah, de, cómo, de cómo hacer y leer más rápido. Cuando vamos a ver el diario, por ejemplo, muchas veces encontramos la noticia que buscamos. Por ejemplo, aquí, pues, cuando, vamos, cuando se ve la lista de la lotería, si ha comprado un, un billete de lotería, ¿qué hace? Se va al periódico, encuentra la lista y ahí, scan. Empieza con su número de billete y scan a buscar, escanear con el de hasta que encuentre un número similar o cercano al que usted tiene. Okay, that is a scan, right? En details, alguien me dijo ahí que hay que leer primero 
right? Todo para ir viendo o sea, todos los detalles de la lectura. That, those are the two strategies, okay? Good. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay, good. Tomorrow, in Japan, the... Okay, what is this? Elena? Elena Buenaventura, okay. Uh, who can read it? ¿Hay alguna pregunta, algún vocabulario acá que no conozcan? Veamos primero aquí en Elena Buenaventura. No problem. Uy. Okay. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times. Pull is alar. Alar la oreja. Son tradiciones. Okay. Okay. ¿Cuál es la que hacemos acá en El Salvador cuando alguien cumple años? La manteada. La manteada. ¿eh? Lo tiran hasta arriba uno, dependiendo del peso. Ok, así son la cantidad de gente que están abajo, tirando para arriba. Ok, y la cantidad de años. ¿vale? Son 20 años, 20 veces. Okay, in this case is the pull the ear, okay, one time for each year. ¿Qué más? No sé cómo se pronuncia, pero es la palabra que dice custom. No sé qué será. Custom, custom, custom. Let me see if I have. Okay, mm -hmm. it's an old custom. Es una, una costumbre, una vieja costumbre. Aquí, ¿esta? Sí, esa. Ok, es una vieja costumbre. Gracias, teacher. Ok, no problem. ¿Qué más? Ok, si no hay acá, pueden ya pasar aquí donde dice Jan Chun Chi. Yo le tomé una foto porque esta está muy chiquitito para verlo. Okay, very uh, good. Teacher, like el, bueno, la de Yan Chin Chi, mm -hmm. que dice envelope. No sé si así se pronuncia. En envelope. Ajá, envelope. Envelope. Ajá. Ajá. Eh, envelope son sobres. Sobres así como para cartas. ¿Como para qué, perdón? Cartas, para cartas. Dice, I'm, going, uh, I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes. Esta es una tradición, dice, voy a, probablemente voy a tener dinero en eh, sobres de la suerte. O sea, como aquí, ah, okay. aquí se dice, vamos a ver una, una fiesta de sobres. Ajá. ¿Okay? Entonces, la gente mete dinero. ¿Okay? Eh, es, sí, es diferente al, al, al sachet. 
a A la sachet como bolsita, creo la que bolsita es. de, ajá, tipo manila y eso. Ah, ok. Ajá, yes. no, este sí, es okay. el sobre es el, 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 el tradicional, larguito, y se, se abre así y ahí se mete la carta. Ok, thank you, mm -hmm. Ok. What else? Si no hay más acá, pueden pasar a este. No problem. Ok, you can go to this one. Si tienen una del primero nuevamente, podemos regresar. No problem. ¿Qué me dice, Mr. y Mr. No, la, pal eh, la palabra que dice... Beginning, beginning, no sé, en, en la de eh, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Uh -huh. sí. eh, no, la, de Nini, abajo, algo así es. Beginning, creo que es. Beginning, beginning, uh, beginning uh, yes, beginning, uh -huh. ajá. Uh -huh. beginning, es el inicio. Es el ah. beginning of a new life. It's beginning, okay. The beginning of a new life, es el inicio de una nueva vida. Los 60 años. Ok. Yo tengo una duda. Ok. Eh, veo que dice, al final de, de ese es, mismo texto, dice a Red Hat en Best, pero Best con V, creo yo. No ajá, sé qué ajá. significa con V. Es un chaleco. Ah. Un chaleco, ajá. Ok. Es una prenda de vestir. Ajá. That's what it says. Uh, what are you, uh, what are children... What are our children going to give him? A red hat and a vest. In chalet, right? In sombrero. Oh, okay. Okay. ¿Qué más? Pueden pasar al otro y luego vamos a ver las preguntas y a usar su retentiva. No more? No more teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Buena, buena. Let me see here. Okay, good. Okay, we have the discussion box. Here. Okay, here we have. This is it. Okay, read the article, then answer the questions. Okay, then answer whether the sentence presented in each article is true or false. Okay. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. True or false, people? True. 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 Okay. True. I mark what you say. Jan King is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. True. 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 My false. mother's going false. to cook. Oh, false. 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 I will be his mother. Mother is going. <laughs> okay. Let's see. False. Yes. Okay. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True. Yes, true. True. What? What is it, what is he going to get? A red hat. A red hat. Very Ours. good. Thank you. Okay, this one. Philippe's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his friend, on his birthday. True. False. 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 Yes. False. False. Yes. False. Okay. False. Lo, ¿Qué es lo verdadero? Mm. He's going to invite the uh, friends. Uh huh. Okay. At the he, near, but then the house. Uh -huh. He's going to invite right, his friends. Ahora, mm -hmm. si ustedes ven en la pregunta, buscamos la información y luego para ten, poder responder ustedes, true or false, ocupan los detalles que aparecen acá. Ahí se han aplicado las dos 
estrategias, right? It's nice to celebrate her birthday, Elena Stein, is going to pull her ears 21 times. ¿Le venimos? 21, 21, 21, 21. Okay, here. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times. Okay, y aquí ya se, se ve el detalle de por qué se va a hacer. Entonces ya uno dice true or false. Okay, now okay. let's see the answers. Show the answers. Okay, four is correct, three is correct, two is correct, and one is correct. Ahora, si ustedes ya tienen estas habilidades en español, no hay ningún problema porque el cerebro hace una transferencia de habilidades. La habilidad que usted ya tiene en, inglés, en español, la, la utiliza en inglés. Y la misma que tiene en inglés, la, la utiliza en español. Así que por eso tal vez algunas de estas estrategias no les... No les, se les dificulta si ustedes se acostumbran a leer eh, eh, bastante, ¿verdad? Todas las a, a strategies. Ok. Perfect. No questions in this moment. Eh, el uso de la palabra out o out, después de to take him out, uh -huh. eh, ¿qué, ¿qué en sí que significa out? Ok, aquí es. Aquí dice, Philip, are going to take him. Lo van a llevar. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, toda esta frase, acá, significa, lo van a llevar a comer fuera. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Es una, una frase decir que me van a llevar a, me, en español diríamos, me van a llevar a comer. ¿Vale? Right? En un buen salvadoreño le decimos, por ejemplo, no, no, no. ¿qué te van a hacer tus amigos? Ah, me van a llevar a comer. They are going to take me out to dinner. Out to dinner. Ah. Me llevarán a comer. Me van a llevar a comer. Entonces, okay. acá. Significa, me van a llevar a comer. Entonces, me van a llevar a caminar. They are going to take, take me out to walk. Ok. Eh, me van a llevar a, a escalar. Ok, please, the, the, the microphone. Okay. Here it says, me van a llevar a caminar. They are going, the friends are going to take me out to climb, to climb a uh, Ilamatepec volcano. So, esta frase significa eso. Me van a llevar a comer. Ya, yeah, digamos, traducido literalmente, mis amigos, eh, los amigos de este beat, lo van a llevar a comer o a cenar fuera. Es otra manera de decirlo. Ok. Good. And then that's it. Ok. Now, eh, let's uh, have a little practice here. Start. Ok. Good. Eh, for example, practicing some questions. Pay attention to this. Uh, let's see, Cristina. Uh, yes. Are you going to have a lunch tomorrow morning? No, tomorrow I'm sorry. Are you going to have breakfast tomorrow morning? Uh, yes, I am. Um, I'm going to to take a breakfast tomorrow in the okay. morning. Good. Vean ahí, ahí es una yes no question, ¿verdad? Ahora vamos a seguir practicando con las WH questions. Now, Cristina, what are you going to eat for breakfast? I'm, uh -huh. I'm going to eat our beans mm -hmm. and beans as some bread, mm -hmm. cream, okay. and I drink, I'm going to drink coffee. Coffee, okay. Other question, where, where are you going to have breakfast? <laughs> uh, I'm going to take breakfast tomorrow in the morning. Where? Uh, in, my hi in my house. In your house, okay. Yeah. Other problem, right? <laughs> Who is going to cook? Uh, I think I'm I'm going to cook. Okay, good. 
who are you going to cook with? Um, with my mother. Okay, perfect. You got a 10. Yes, I Ok, yes. Eh, si ven cómo se hace la secuencia, que ustedes pueden practicar, ahí les podemos preguntar How much are you going to spend in your breakfast? ¿Cuánto va a gastar? How much are you going to spend in your breakfast? Ok, ya yeah, sea, in the house probably one, two dollars maybe, right? To prepare a breakfast for the family. Eh, how long? How long are you going to cook? Breakfast. ¿En ¿Cuánto tiempo va a cocinar el eh, the breakfast? Ya sea en 20 minutos, 30 minutos, eh, one hour, depends. Ok. Ok, these are, you know, the questions that you can use. Eh, we're going to have a, a, a quick practice in the groups. We have like 10 minutes. And. See here, we got one, two, three, four, six groups. There you go. Accept your invitation. And practice with the questions, right? Um, what are you going to do tomorrow? Uh, where? What? Where or what? No, what are you going to do tomorrow? Okay. I'm going to work. Okay. In my case, I am going to work at home. Okay. Sí, sí. Sí, contesto, sí. Yes. Okay. Uh, and you, Rodrigo? Hello. Uh, Go, I am going to school. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, no questions, no problem. No, no. ¿No? estamos pensando qué preguntar. Ok. <risa> oh, la, la misma pregunta pueden hacer, no importa. Si lo, la misma que yo acabo de hacer es, si es, okay. les, lo practiquen, pueden cambiar, por ejemplo, what are you going to, let's say, to have for dinner, for lunch. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, and repeat the same questions, no problem. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Good. Sí, sí, correcto. Oh, no sé. Teacher, casa de papel, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Casa de papel. Sí. Paper house. Paper house. Ok. Uh -huh. I watch paper house series. Ah, oh, ok. Teacher, yo en... Uh -huh. Perdón, bueno, en ese caso, eh, por ejemplo, nombres así de como eh, de series tendríamos que traducirlo o oh. no podríamos eh, en, el, en esta clase sí lo podemos hacer pero realmente no es necesario porque son nombres propios ajá so, so mm -hmm. but here you know to practice you say paper house series I watch that the third season second season but okay eh, because the, but okay. you can use it in Spanish no problem okay okay gracias all right, good. Now, see. Let me see. 
is with with ay, a Roman Arion Starion guardo que sea rice 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 okay okay entonces fry fish with rice just just es jugo use 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 Yes, with use, with use. ¿Qué más pregunta? You can repeat the same question. Well, okay, what, uh, for example, what are you going to cook tomorrow? Who is going to cook in your house tomorrow? Uh, who is going to prepare the, the lunch? Who is going to, for example, who's going to celebrate uh, a birthday next month? Okay, who, who are you going to chat, to chat with uh, after class? So you can, you know, use uh, any, any verb. When, uh, when are you going to go back to work? When are you going to go back to school? Okay, uh, anything like that. What are you going to do when the quarantine is over? Okay, or well, it's finished. Okay, when this is when we, when we can go out. Okay, you can use those questions. So, Alfredo, what are you going to do tomorrow in general? I'm going to, I'm going to play the guitar. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. When when are you going to sing a song in the class? Uh, when? Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't, I, don't know. Know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't like sing. Okay, I don't like to sing. Okay, very good. I don't know. Ahí no se tiene que responder, yes, I am, or next year, or next month. I don't know. I don't like to sing. Se responde de una manera diferente. Es el feeling. Okay? Good. Okay, continue practicing. All right? Ask more questions. All right. Okay. Jim, uh, I'm not go out at the beach with my family. Okay, questions? No questions, people? No. Everything is okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, what are, your, what are your plans for tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to sleep all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, sounds like, sounds like fun. It's good. It's good. It's good to rest. Uh, Mauricio? Uh, tomorrow I'm going to work in the morning. Okay. And in the afternoon, it's my breakfast, my, my uh, lunch. Uh, uh, Is your birthday celebration? Uh, no, ah. uh, um, no sé cómo decirle, compartir con mi familia, pero... Okay, share, I'm going to share some time. I'm going to share some, some time, time with my with, family. With my family, okay. With okay. my family, okay. Perfect. And you, Marvin? Uh, tomorrow I'm going to... I'm going to work every day. All day. Uh, all day. Um, probably I'm going to work out. I'm going to work out. Okay, that's good. I'm going to work out. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, see you in one minute in the main station. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay. Okay, we're almost back. Okay, good. Well, that was, you know, the practice that we had for WH questions going to. Okay, and tomorrow we're going to have a little bit more about it. Eh, solo quiero recordarles tres cosas. Uno es, eh, bueno, va a ser cuatro, creo. Eh, uno es la plataforma, o sea, que no, no dejen de, de hacer los ejercicios de la plataforma porque hay que irla completando. Recuerden que tienen que llevar a un 80% para que no se les acumule el trabajo. Entonces, es conveniente que lo, que lo vayan llevando al día. Eh, y también eso ayuda a que al final no tengamos que esperar mucho para arrancar con el otro, con el otro módulo. ¿no? Entonces, podemos ir un poquito más, hacerlo más dinámico. Entonces, este, recuerden que incluso, ahorita creo que no les han habilitado el, para poder sacar el, el diploma y todo eso, porque ahorita estamos empezando. Pero ustedes van llenando ya los, eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Eh, el, eh, la plataforma, eso les va a ayudar. Entonces ahí podemos ir viendo también qué cosas podemos ir reforzando. Ok, eso, la plataforma es importantísimo. Ok, en este, este, mañana viernes vamos a tener clase, porque vamos a reponer la clase del lunes. Que debemos no haber empezado el lunes, pero se comenzó martes. Entonces, mañana va a haber clase siempre a la misma hora, de 9 a 10. La otra semana, por la cuestión de la vacación de agosto, no van a haber clases. ¿Okay? Entonces, vamos a tener, vamos a regresar hasta el 10 de agosto, o sea, lunes. Lunes 10 de agosto. Eh, entonces, es importante que igual sigan trabajando en la plataforma. Yo voy a estar ingresando también a la plataforma, a ver si están haciendo algunos eh, ejercicios y todo para estar los revisando y como les digo no no se no tengan pena si se equivocan si hay errores no al contrario esa es la esa es la mejor forma de aprender ok entonces este vean el vocabulario de lo que hemos visto si se quieren adelantar adelante no hay problema porque eh, después cuando nosotros vamos llegando ahí vamos haciendo como un barrido atrás no o sea como que yo voy explicando les han quedado dudas es cuando ya lleguemos al momento ahí la van a ir aclarando también y si las tienen antes, pues me las preguntan, no hay problema. Ok, no okay. sé. Ajá. Mauricio o algo. No, gracias. Gracias. Ok. Thank you, thank you. ¿Alguna otra, gracias. ¿Alguna otra pregunta que alguien tenga, dudas? Bueno, digo, este, cualquier cosa, este, si incluso quieren, ahí está mi número en el chat. Pueden incluso mandarme un chat aparte. Miren, necesito estar haciendo esta duda, esto y lo otro, no hay problema. ¿Okay? Entonces, si a veces salgo y vengo manejando, no contesto en el momento, pero en un momentito que tenga chance, yo les contesto ya cualquier duda que puedan tener o algún ejercicio o algo. El video lo subo yo, en, o sea, este lo subo de segundo, porque tengo que subir el anterior, pero a veces dependiendo, ya la medida es que ya están arriba. Eh, y luego ahí voy a, ya voy a buscar el link. Cuando lo suba, les pongo el link en la playlist para que lo ahí en el chat, para que ya no lo puedan, puedan ver para reforzar. Ok, tipo, no questions. No, 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 que que realicen la lectura de hoy. Por el... okay. Okay. ok, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.